Hello YouTube and welcome back to the iTrode 784 journey. In our previous video, the winners of the open category in the NTRC's 2023 iCode 784 competition, Anthony Cuffey and Nikolai Williams won themselves a trip to the 4YFM conference in Barcelona, Spain. So, let's join them! On the first day of the event, participants poorly passed through the security checkpoints using the QR code that was sent to registered attendees. This facilitated the convenient access to the venue, eliminating the use of physical tickets and lengthy queues. Here, you can see that the venue was packed with business owners, entrepreneurs, mentors, upcoming business owners, software developers, game programmers, you name it, they were here. After collecting the passes, they headed straight to the first event, which was the opening ceremony, where we heard from David McClellan. Take a listen. My name is David McClellan. I'm a technology journalist, startup survivor, and four years from now, veteran. And I am so excited to be hosting proceedings here today at the Banco Sabade stage at four years from now. The 10th anniversary, no less, of the most important, the most influential startup event in the world. The open ceremony ended and they took a walk to Hall 8.0, which had different stages for different events, as well as many startups from all over the world. Antonika and Nikolai visited the Lenovo booth where they interacted with real-time eye-tracking and switchable lenticular lens that allow you to move your head in immersive 3D without the need for glasses. Here, you can see Nikolai interacting with the motion tracking technology. They then attended a very informative session called Do's and Don'ts Every Startup Tech Should Know, where entrepreneurs gave their feedback on their journey from the startup event, their challenges and successes thus far. They also gave some tips on how you can market your business as well as connecting with people from different countries. At the second session, which was called the Green Tech Program, they spoke about transforming the way in which we produce and consume electricity by decarbonization, and hopes that by 2030, all vehicles should be electrical. The sessions ended and Anthony and Nikolai visited other booths, such as the Samsung Galaxy booth, which displayed their latest devices, rings, and phone cases. They also visited the Snapdragon Digital Chassis booth, which displayed the new era of mobility where people can communicate with their vehicles via auto connectivity such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It also consisted of a 3D cockpit platform and car to cloud which enables users to get new features and services. <music> 